UFC 305 Duplessis vs Adesanya took place on August 17th in front of a packed RAC arena in Perth, Australia. The event brought in nearly $5.5 million at the gate and another $7 million more from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract, not to mention pay-per-view revenue in the tens of millions, sponsorships, and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? International commissions typically do not disclose fighter pay information, so while Venom sponsorship and fight bonuses are released, the purses I'll be showing in this video are just projections based on previously disclosed earnings. With that said, let's jump into the first fight. Every fighter that's under contract, if you want to tell the media what you're paid, that's up to you. Starting with the feature prelim, Auckland's own Junior Taffa had the crowd roaring early in the first round of his heavyweight bout against Walter Walker as he blasted his opponent with heavy blows. Walker survived and completely shifted the momentum in his favor when he scored a takedown and was able to control Taffa on the ground. With under 10 seconds left in the round, Walker sunk in a heel hook, causing Taffa to scream out in pain, which according to the referee was enough to be considered a verbal submission as Walter Walker would take the controversial win. Taffa made $26,000 to show and $4,500 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, for a total of $30,500. While Walker brought in $10,000 to show and $10,000 for the win, $4,000 in Venom sponsorship for $24,000 on the night. And now kicking off the main card, Carlos Prates' boxing looks sharp against fellow welterweight Li Jingliang as he sat Li down on the canvas multiple times in the first round with powerful left hands. Jingliang bounced back up each time and returned fire, but the round and the momentum belonged to Prates. In the second, he continued to display his power as he scored yet another knockdown, stalking the leech until he delivered the final blow, a devastating left hook that knocked Jingliang out cold for the first time in his career. Carlos Prates would walk away with the performance of the night bonus and a highlight real knockout win. Jing Liang earned $85,000 to show and $16,000 in sponsorship pay and took home $101,000. While Prates made $14,000 to show and another $14,000 for the win, $4,000 in sponsorship, along with a well-deserved performance of the night bonus, and a total of $82,000. In the second fight, ranked heavyweights Tai Tuivasa and Jarzinho Rosenstrike played it safe, using the first round to feel out each other's timing, knowing either man could be knocked out at any moment. However, Rosenstrike was more successful, landing 19 significant strikes to Tuivasa's 9. In the second, Ty started to find his range as both fighters opened up their striking, but again Rosenstrike stole the momentum with big combos and opened up a cut above Tuivasa's right eye. Needing a finish in the third round, Ty was unable to string together enough strikes or land the one-shot KO, and despite a wild 30-27 scorecard in Tuivasa's favor, Jarzinho Rosenstrike went home with a split decision victory. Tuivasa brought in $130,000 to show and $16,000 in sponsorship for $146,000 on the night. While Rosenstrike earned $150,000 to show and another $150k for the win, along with $11,000 in Venom sponsorship for a total of $311,000. An insane first round kicked off the third fight featuring lightweights Mateusz Gamrot and Dan Hooker. Gamrot showed off his much improved striking before wrestling Hooker to the ground and dropping bombs from the top. Hooker, while bloodied, was able to escape and cracked Gamrot with a big left hook that left him wobbled. In the second, Gamrot scored a takedown early, but Dan was again able to escape using vicious elbows and guillotine attempts to neutralize Gamrot's grappling. In the final frame, Hooker marched down his opponent with continuous pressure as both men traded blows for nearly the entire round. While it was an incredibly close fight to judge, the scorecards came down as a split decision victory for Dan Hooker. Prior to the fight, Dan discussed signing a new five fight contract with the promotion. Um, you signed a new UFC contract before this fight, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, How was, did you get everything you feel you wanted out of that? Money, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> heaps of it. <laughs> So I know you had like talked in some other interviews, like Ariel and stuff, you love bare knuckle, maybe that would be in your future. Do you think that's kind of pushing this to the wayside? Do you think you're here until you're done fighting now? Um, at the end of the day, like UFC's the big show, but like you can go and fight anywhere else, like regardless of regardless of the money, it's it's competing in the UFC, competing against the best guys is, is where I wanna be. Gamrot earned $80,000 to show and $6,000 in sponsorship pay, along with a $50,000 fight of the night bonus, for a total of $136,000. 
and the winner, Dan the Hangman Hooker, made $165,000 to show and another $165 for the win. The maximum non-championship $21,000 in sponsorship pay, along with his $50k bonus, and a total of $401,000. The co-main event did not last long as Kai Cara France spoiled the homecoming of former title challenger Steve Urseg. Cara France floored Urseg with a big left hook in the center of the octagon. He kept the pressure on and landed another massive right hand against the cage that resulted in a second knockdown and delivered Cara France the huge TKO victory. The win snapped Kai's two-fight losing skid and potentially earned him a shot at the undisputed flyweight title. Urseg took home $45,000 to show and $4,500 in sponsorship for $49,500 on the night. While Cara France earned $100,000 to show and another $100k for the win, $11,000 in sponsorship and a $50,000 performance of the night bonus, bringing his total to $261,000. If you're enjoying the content and want to keep up with the latest videos, take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Only 7% of the people watching this video are subscribers, but you could change that and help to grow the channel in the process. And finally, middleweight champion Drikus Duplessis employed a kick-heavy approach in the first round against the former champ Israel Adesanya. He rushed in throwing wild punches as Adesanya attempted to counter, opening up a small cut on Duplessis' forehead. In the second, Duplessis utilized his grappling and was able to put Adesanya in dangerous positions, however the former champ was always able to take the fight back to the feet. It was there that Israel started to find a rhythm in the third and fourth rounds, landing body shots and combinations that shifted the momentum back in his favor. However, midway through the fourth, Duplessis landed three consecutive right hands to Adesanya's head and pulled him down to the canvas, where he quickly locked in a rear naked choke, taking the submission win and defending his undisputed middleweight belt. Adesanya received $750,000 guaranteed and $32,000 in Venom sponsorship. While we can only speculate on the pay-per-view, I use a formula based on Eddie Alvarez and other fighters' publicly released pay structures from 2013 to 2016 and update it to account for new benchmarks and pay-per-view price increases to create a ballpark estimate. With Adesanya being such a massive star and long-reigning champ, I'll assume his contract offers him the same pay-per-view cut regardless of whether he's champion or not. The final number varies greatly depending on the buy rate, but cards that Adesanya headlines tend to perform quite well. 650,000 buys may be optimistic, but if we use that as an estimate, Adesanya's massive cut falls somewhere in the neighborhood of 2.1 to 2.6 million, taking his total to an estimated 3.1 million dollars. And still, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion Drikus Duplessis brought in $500,000 guaranteed, $42,000 in sponsorship pay, along with $900,000 to $1.1 million for his cut of the pay-per-view revenue, putting his total in the neighborhood of $1.5 million. That's all for this episode. Any corrections to the numbers I've shown will be listed in a pinned comment below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching. See you next week for UFC Fight Night, Cannoneer vs. Bahalio.